Continuation, 718 at night, West Coast time. It's still Friday, the 12th of April, 2024. The diary renamed John Weaver, which is me. I'm still dealing with this. So this is part two of a series I'm sending over to Senator, to uh, Reverend Ed Trevers. And it's going to be on open. It's, it's, it's going to be public. It's not going to be the unlisted kind. So, because... Stuff really goes out there. I'm still dealing with my dogs having a conniption fit with me, so I'm going to put down a headset for a couple of seconds here. Bear with me, guys. Hold on, man. She's having a conniption fit, so am I. Whenever she starts going crazy, I'm going crazy at this point. I don't like touching about this topic, but sometimes I still have to, because dealing with the death, dealing with my channel deals with death, grieving, mourning, processing, life, life on its own terms, life that I see around me, my own observations, my own perspectives, things like that. They matter a damn. And for those who are kind of newish to the channel, yeah, I do curse and cuss sometimes. And sometimes go over the hill on it because I have to. It's just the way I am. In public, no. But on a channel like this, sometimes I have to. I was talking about dealing with uh, my mother and my brother's passing over the past oh, 11 years. Ma's been dead since... February 19th, and Dave's, or was it the 18th? Someone else too. I think 18th. Dave's been dead since September 8th, uh, 2018. Ma, 2013. Five year difference on that one. How the hell does that happen? A topic was talked about uh, being Christian and also handling grief, and then how Christians would probably celebrate death because we would be reunited with our loved ones. That's one way. But the thing is, I've already been through the process and I wouldn't even recommend it to anybody, even with your, as an adult, because even for me, it was hard enough dealing with it the first time, let alone the t second or third time as a four-year-old. So yeah, it gives me a little bit more fear at this point over here, despite how many uh, assurances I would have from uh pastors and uh, religious leaders out there, lay ministers. What? That dog of mine is going to drive me crazy. Mama? <sighs> Life going on as it is.
Yeah. Oh. It's one thing talking about politics or anything else on my channel. But when it comes down for my own emotions, one of my own feelings, my own thought patterns regarding how to deal with the morning process, how to deal with life gone from you. I have been with my family all my life. I'm 58, going to be turning 59 next year. I hadn't had any relationships. I hadn't had any families outside of my mother and my brother. I was pure mama's boy. I was afraid of dealing with life. I was afraid of dealing with death. I was afraid of everything. And I was taught I wasn't doing good in school. You work your ass off. And I did. Tried to go back to school a few times. Trying to get training and got some of the trainings for different things to deal with. Is she back up there again? Or she Will you settle it already? Good Lord, woman. You're losing it, baby. You're losing it. She scares me sometimes. <sighs> she's getting old. She's getting blind, but she think, still thinks she's a puppy. That's why I still think she's got dementia or something like that. <sighs> I guess she doesn't want to deal with the feelings that had to be shoved inside. She wants to run. She wants to play. She wants to enjoy life. And unfortunately, me living a lot longer than she had, it makes me mourn a lot harder because when she's gone. Oh, hold on. Said that she's not recognizing me. She's not recognized my commands either. She wants to play. She wants to bite. Sometimes she'll recognize me, and other times she just wants to play. I'm like, I don't understand this dog at all. I'm dealing with something that's already been triggering me left and right. I deal with triggers on a constant basis. Things that will put me through an emotional headlocker. Things that will put me through the depression all real fast. And this dog sometimes gets depressed enough where she's sleeping most of the day, but at night she wants to run around like crazy, like her biological clocks went out. I don't get it. I don't get it with my dog. She is driving me. Uh, she made it to the couch that bit. Not good, I think. Good, she didn't make it out of Florida. Thank God. She scares me. I'm not knocking against Christianity. I'm not knocking against the faith. I'm not knocking against anything else like that. We can read all the passages as we can, but unless we've already been through the process already. It lost a lot of people. Then you say, well, we'll be re reunited with them eventually. We'll just have to forget all about the pain. I'm sorry, I can't forget about the damn pain. I always thought he always had to hold it in. But well, after I lost Ma and then a special friend of mine who has been like a mother to me and a favorite dog of mine as well. And then I lose Big Brother all within a 10-year period. It does something to a person, okay? It puts me into a situation where I'm angry. I'm frustrated. I'm scared. I'm more pissed off at God than anything else sometimes because I don't understand. Am I that arrogant, ignorant, blind? 
I guess I am. Prideful, uh, egotistical, megalomaniac. I'm supposed to let it go and accept what is. Well, they're dead. That's what is. And it's hard to deal with the. It's hard to deal with that, especially when I go through the triggers. I get angry. I get pissed off. I am crying my eyeballs out left and right because I miss my family a great deal. I know where they probably are. What I assume where they are at this point over here, if God already deemed it to be worthwhile to be up in heaven. Because if not, I'm going to have a separated family, and I'm really going to have it out with God on that one. I know he's listening. My family means everything. It should have meant a hell of a lot more growing up as a kid. Or maybe I was feeling it and didn't even realize it. All I know is I'm my, I was my brother's sidekick, watching his six all the damn time. A lot of my videos kept talking about taking care of him when he was going through his drug abuse and alcohol phase. He goes to recovery through a 12-step program. Well, I'm sinking fast at that point. Got to the point where I was going to be doing something stupid that Google and YouTube wouldn't even post on here because I'd be breaking off their community sti their community guideline rules left and right. Next thing I know, I got two guys from AA actually talking with me, and the next thing I know, I'm in a recovery hall trying to get recovered. I didn't realize I had all the aspects of an alcoholic, not even remembering our drinking, but I got everything else for that, or for everything else on the damn thing. So yeah, identified. And if I did drink, I wish to God I remembered the damn thing. Because every other alcoholic I remember, oh, I remember I drank. I was a fantastic drunk right there. And I blacked out. I was over here. If I did, I wasn't paying attention to it. All I know is I was paying attention to a hell of a lot of pain, a hell of a lot of anger, a lot of grief. Everything else building up inside where I just wanted to become a headline and then probably become a case file. I didn't care one way or another. And if I did care about my family, it wasn't showing that much because I was losing losing my family. Inside. Living with them, yeah. It's not that it was time for me to move on, no. It was like I was, am I actually part of you guys anymore? Why wasn't I part of this spiritual awakening or awareness or something like that? Or did a higher power was still working in my life, huh? Pray to believe in him. What the hell was going on in my life? Everything was chaos and confusion. I say, I know. I'm mounting out for something that's going to be affecting my lives and their per and their lives permanently and everybody else around me. And if it was carried out, if it was done, we wouldn't be having this conversation, now, would we? No. Because either I'd be a toe tag, or else I'd be a case file, or something else. And then the act, and then the consequences of my actions. Higher power works in mysterious ways. Trying to keep me alive one way or another, and trying to keep me sane one way or another. And I almost, I almost did something that was scaring the hell out of me, even talking about it right now as it is. Because, Mama, get out of there! My dog again. Hold on. Mama's little girl. Hey! Get out of there! Talking about this stuff kind of puts me in a different funky mood that she doesn't like me dealing with. And then dealing with the neighbors outside. Fine, fine, fine. This is what's life's going on today, right now, this evening. I'm trying to get into something hot and heavy and something very depressional. It's, it's 
upsetting me a great deal. And part of me wants to turn into the old man and start screaming and yelling for no damn reason. I've had that happen as a kid. Sometimes you come out, you're doing things, and you're yelling and screaming your heads off. And what happens? Hey, what do you think you're doing, kids? Get out of here. I understand what the hell those old farts are going through. Now I do. Now I do. Now I understand it more and more. So whenever I, uh, I hated being me. A rambunctious kid. I look at myself and these kids. It's no wonder I feel like the old man still wants to yell and scare and everything else at him. <sighs> I'm wondering starting that more and more. I don't know. I had to continue talking about this stuff because I just had to get up my damn chest. Get triggered. Left and right, cry my eyeballs. Pray to God and forgive me for going through this mess. Crying in my ass off like crazy. And then I hear the kids out there doing what they're doing. Thinking of my head, those young punks, those young punks, those not to my young punks. If I was younger, I, 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 yeah, right, sure. What the hell was I thinking at that point? Losing my head, that's about normal. Life happening. That's what's happening. That's what's happening right now. It's just life. So this one goes for the wind files as well, but I'll send it over to the Reverend anyway. You know, earlier today, I was stressing myself because it's getting closer and closer to tax season. I'm still trying to do the stuff. The people I hired hadn't even contacted me in a while. So I gotta do all my paperwork and try to send the damn stuff in. Maybe if I could just send it a corrected or amended. I was trying to get an extended on that one if I could, but if I can't, well then I gotta file. Which means I gotta pay it through the nose and hope that something goes through. Because if it doesn't, I'm really hating this. Anyway. That's my story, and that's what I'm going through today.